exploring beyond photography, I guess. Yeah. Like, uh, especially during the pandemic, um, I was experimenting a lot with collage work. So I, I, it was kind of like a working with archive and also related to memories where I was looking at photographs that I had taken two or three years ago, four years ago, uh, which I don't even remember, you know, and I was digging through all of these negatives and then I was thinking about, you know, how, how these relate to the life that I have now and the, and the present. Uh, my name is Dewey. I am an, a photographer and a visual artist based in Oslo, here in Norway. I was born in Malaysia in a refugee camp and I came to Norway when I was very young uh, with my parents. Um, so we were immigrants uh, when I came to Norway. Um, I have very little memory of my childhood, especially uh, when I, in, in the refugee camp. I think I mostly um, remember what I see in the pictures. I think it's also part of the trauma that you get when you immigrate to a new country. Basically, you kind of suppress a lot of these memories. And my art practice is also about trying to revisit these memories and also kind of make them my own in a way, um, because I feel like they have been taken from me. I usually never take more than one or two photos of whatever I see. I feel like it's, uh, I don't know, it's part of the process. I think if you take too many photos, then maybe each photo won't be worth as much, at least in my opinion. When you think about a memory, a lot of times um, they might not be facts. Like the memory might just, maybe you just remember the happy part of the memory, or maybe you only remember the sad part of the memory, but the memory as a fact is extremely hard to um, remember, I guess. Um, so in, in a sense, you, your memory is kind of selective, I suppose. Uh, and then every time you revisit the memory, uh, over time they change. And um, if you revisit them many times and over many years, they might, like you, you may end up at a point where you don't know if this is, the memory is real or if it's just something that you made up in your mind, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, in, in a way there is a lot of um, vacuum or, or there's a lot of uh, things that I don't remember um, from my past. <laughs> Thank you.
I guess in a way I'm not very consistent in the in the sense that I work ex extremely a lot in in periods where I would be extremely productive, but other periods I wouldn't do much. Like it could be two months where I'm doing nothing for my work, art work, but there could be periods where I'm doing a lot, a lot of work. And uh, in these periods, I would feel, you know, like I would be on like the edge of the emotional spectrum where I would be almost like extremely sensitive to everything and and um, take a lot of photographs or, or do a lot of things because Sometimes I I walk around with my camera and I don't take a single photo and, and even if I see something but it doesn't trigger me. But other times I could shoot like a whole roll of photo in 10 minutes, you know. So I think it, uh, I'm very like mood driven in the sense that I, in what I do. Um, because I was also the, the work that I do is also very based on my myself, right, and my mood. So. Um, in that sense, it's, it's very connected. I, th I think, you know, sometimes when you're in a bad place or you don't feel like doing anything, I think those are the times where you should do something. You know, like those days where I don't want to work or don't want to photograph, uh, it helps sometimes just to... Because sometimes you, you get into this mind space where you think, things has to be perfect or things has to be feel right but maybe you never get there if you don't start you know so i think sometimes i just um, if i'm in this bad place or i'm stuck i just do something like even if i'm just shooting something i know that i'm not gonna use or it's not interesting but it's still it, it's it's better to move forward than to be stuck especially when i do feel very stuck then i sometimes choose to just shoot photos of things that I maybe are not interested in or are, doesn't give me anything on a personal or emotional level, but it's still, um, I'm still moving. And I think once you get some momentum, it's a lot easier to roll. My art practice works kind of as a therapeutic process for me. Like when, when I work on my art, I don't do it for anyone else. I just make art for myself in a way because it's a way for me to process past, but also traumas. Um, so, so, so the feeling of everything from um, cultural identity to you know, yeah, these things that are related to my past and my family and, and my memory, uh, this is something that I'm doing for myself and, and through art I can express myself, I suppose. And, and this is a lot about what my art is about. I do enjoy working a lot and especially on projects that gives me energy yeah. um, but I think you know sometimes I don't think it's healthy to work as much as I do in a way because you also need time to, to relax in order to reflect on what happened in your life and, and uh, you know it's when you're sleeping that you process what happened in your day right and, in a way, that's what dreams are, like yeah. your, your, your daily life pro processed. Or, um, so uh, I, I do enjoy work a lot, but um, 
I also think it, I should get better at relaxing because right now when I don't do something for even just one day, I feel lazy and unproductive and it shouldn't feel that way, you know? I do, I do like to keep projects going as long as I feel like there is more value to add to them. But I, once I feel like there is no more value I could add to a project or there's nothing more I can give, then perhaps that's the time to wrap up the project. And, and once a project is wrapped up, I feel so much lighter in a way. It's like I've been carrying around a lot of weight and then finally can dump that weight. And, and it also takes a lot of space in, on my mind. So once I can finish a wrap up project, I can free up more mind space for, for new projects. Uh, and that's, uh, that's also why I'm, I'm sometimes really trying to finish stuff. Because, you know, as a creative or an artist, sometimes you just have a lot of, lot of threads and they just, you know, bundle up together or, or hanging loose and then you need to tie them up at some point. If you don't, then it's just going to be like a never-ending thing. I think if I were to give one advice to someone um, that were to start, you know, making art or, or doing photography or doing creative things is um, I, everyone has a different pace. Everyone lives a different life and everyone starts at a um, different line, I would say. So the best thing I think for my, as an advice is to focus on what you want to do and why you want to do it because then you're doing it for the right reason. Because the worst thing you can do is do stuff for the wrong, or like a reason that is not yours. Because I'm not gonna say wrong reason, because there is probably nothing wrong. But it's more like the reason has to be that it's, it's right for you, I would say. <laughs>